Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Lab Medicine. In this video, we will demonstrate the procedure for changing the electrolyte reference fluid in the Vitros 5600. Electrolyte reference fluid is used for the potentiometric measurement of sodium, potassium and chloride. It is an aqueous solution of electrolytes and a polymeric agent. Before changing the fluid, we need to rotate it on a rotator to dissolve the crystals that have formed during storage. To begin with the procedure, we first click on the reagents icon at the top, and after that, at the bottom, we can see another icon for view AE, ARF. Click on it to know the status of currently stored electrolyte reference fluid in the system. We can see there is only 251 tests remaining in the system, so we better change it. So click on Schedule Load, and we click on Load ARF, on the right side of the screen. Then the instruction window will open on the screen, displaying the procedures. First, it says to open the top right cover, so we will do it according to what it says. Secondly, it says to remove the used AUF microtip and clean the ERF tip sleeve. Now we will pull the tip sleeve upward and place a new microtip on the ERF metering system. After replacing the microtip, we now have to clean the ARF, reservoir base and leak pad, which are blue in colour, and remove the earth reservoir as well for the leak hysteresis test. So here I am changing the new electrolyte to reference fluid, which I had previously rotated. Following the subsequent steps, we now begin the leak hysteresis test to determine any leakage in the ERF tube tubings. This test will take around two minutes. After the test has passed, only then are we allowed to enter the lot number of our new fluid. We will enter the new lot number and finally place a reservoir with a new ERF into the system. The machine will analyze the fluid by itself and update the number of test counts as displayed on screen. Lastly, we will close the cover and click on Done icon at the bottom to reinitialize the system.